Example 2. 7x squared minus 14x equals negative 7. In this one, you'll see that we do not equal 0. So I need to start by bringing the negative 7 to the other side by adding it. That'll give me 7x squared minus 14x plus 7 equals 0. Now that it's equal to 0, I can start my factors. So again, we're going to draw our t. I'm going to take a, which is 7, times c, and get 49. And I'm going to drop down the negative 14. I always want to find my factors of 49 first. So 1 times 49, that would give me 50. That doesn't work for us. If I do 7 times 7, that's going to give me 14 when I add them. But I need negative 14. So we're going to try negative 7 times negative 7. Add them together, that gives us negative 14. So those are the factors I'm going to be using. Bring them down. And again, we want to divide by a which will give me x minus 1 and x minus 1. But let's not forget, since all of them had that 7 in common, we need to bring it out to the front. The next step says to set each of your factors equal to 0. And solve for x. Add 1 to both sides. It's going to give me x equals 1. And you'll notice this is exactly the same. So we don't have to do it again. In this case, there's only going to be one answer. 